as you can hear from the sound of the Harley behind me, I'm up at the Bjorn Pacific Highway and we're recording this month's blog from the road. And the question where I want to present with you today is, are your team not performing as well as you would like? If that's the case, there are two questions that you can ask yourself. And number one is how clear are you about what great performance actually looks like in day-to-day -day behaviours and are you communicating that? Now you may have certain KPIs or service level targets, things like average call handle time and first call resolution and so on. But the things that you can measure in that way don't tell the whole story and if we only focus on those things we miss the other half of the picture and that's the chance to get great performance. So what is the other half of the picture? Well, we call it the soft side of people's motivation. Qualitative versus quantitative if you like. And the question you can ask here, the second question is do your people really care? Let's take customer service. Do they care about the customer? Can you describe what they're actually doing that demonstrates this beyond the screens on the wall that are showing your daily stats? Now, your staff may know all the processes and if you ask them what the standards are, they can tell you. But it takes more than that to take those standards met consistently every time with every customer and in a way that the customer feels heard and understood and not just brushed off or dealt with robotically. So if your answer to that second question, do your people really care at the moment, is well, yeah, the mostly or at some of the time, then the chances are they're on autopilot for the rest. So what can bikes teach us about that? Well, on a motorbike you can't ever go on autopilot. You have to pay attention, be alert and aware of what's going on all around and the minute you go around on autopilot you're setting yourself up for a serious accident because your substitute for the protective shell of the car is your reaction time. And of course you have to be in aware, aware and paying attention in order to react. Now, whilst cruise control might be nice to have when the road is relatively straight and predictable and it may make some adjustments for you like going up and down a hill, it won't take account of a change to the road surface or suddenly coming across a bunch of windy road uh, and corners that you have to navigate. So how can you get your people off autopilot? Well, I'm sad to say the statistics are not in your favour at the moment because research shows that only about 14% of people are not on autopilot to some degree or other. So, one thing you can do though, which is easy to use, is question number one. What does that daily performance look like in day-to-day -day behaviour, that best quality, that high standard that you expect from your team? So have those conversations with them either individually and as a group about what those behaviours are that help to drive great performance. What does it look like day to day and how can they keep each other on track with them? Now why do these two questions work? Well, they change the scenery, they engage other parts of the brain and they invite participation. And when people are paying attention to day to day behaviours, they're not on autopilot. I'm going to be sending you an email in the next uh, week or so that will invite you to come and get your free copy of my latest book, Lead It, Lead IT, and you can get that for free. So keep an eye on your inbox for that, and as always, stay shiny side up.